gorgeous day yesterday. Yeah, a gorgeous day yesterday, and it's a pretty nice morning this morning, too. Yeah, I love these types of mornings. I hate that we're stuck inside. Yeah. Let's take this outside, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it is gorgeous. I hope you guys get outside to enjoy these nice, no, not only comfortable temperatures, the humidity isn't too bad just yet, and we had had, had a beautiful sunrise. So 72 now in Burlington, a lot warmer than in Plattsburgh, but still very comfortable there at 59, maybe a jacket necessary, 66 in Lebanon and Rutland, and right around 58 degrees in St. Jay. Broken clouds at best, but that's what created that really nice sunrise about an hour, 45 minutes or so ago. More of those clouds are off to the west. It'll take some time, but more of those will eventually fill out as the day goes on. And we are looking at a day, a day that will have more clouds than sun for this Thursday afternoon, but still not bad at all. 81 in Plattsburgh, 73 in Newcomb, 80 in Ticonderoga. We're not going to have that sun beating down all day, so I think it'll feel pretty good. 79 in Morrisville, same with Johnson, 78 in Chelsea. 82 in Virgins, 85 in Highgate, a little warmer for you guys. That's not surprising. Ludlow around 75, 78 in South Pomfret, 81 degrees in Poultney. A little breezier today than yesterday. We'll have that wind out of the south for just about everyone right around 15, maybe up to 20 miles per hour. Again, that wind is picking up. Those clouds are moving in all ahead of our next system, which is going to bring us some spotty showers over northern New York later this evening, most of which, though, are going to hold off until overnight tonight and through early tomorrow morning. So you might wake up to some pockets of moderate to maybe some heavy rain and even a few little brief thunderstorms tomorrow morning. That'll be again in the morning hours. I'd say early through about mid morning is the best timing for some of those. And then through the day, those showers and any thunderstorms become more and more scattered in nature. And then we'll finish off the day with kind of a slow clearing trend from west to east. Then on Saturday morning, maybe a few clouds some broken ones here or there, but an otherwise nice bright day. It is going to be hot and it's going to start to get humid over the weekend too. So you might feel that humidity inching up in the next couple of days. Sunday and Monday, though, are when that really starts to ramp up. Dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s mean the very humid to even oppressive air. And when you add that to 90 degree temperatures, especially on Sunday, and it could be dangerous. So if you have plans to get out and enjoy the mostly dry weather over the weekend, know it could be dangerously hot, especially on Sunday and still very oppressive on Monday, but also some scattered thunderstorms by then, too.